This tutorial will explain how to create a project folder. You may ask why. Well, good practice and common sense dictate that, at a minimum, you must ensure that you can work on different PCs, be able to recover data following a PC hard disk crash, and to provide a copy of your work at any time to your tutor in a common format. 3DS Max helps in this area by automating the process of creating a common project folder layout. This will allow you to transfer projects from PC to PC, take backups, submit projects for assessment in a common format, practice what is the adopted approach by industry professionals. This tutorial will create a project folder on the desktop. However, you should typically create your project folder on a removal device, as your data may not be retained on this PC overnight. And remember, always back up that removable device at the end of each day. Anyway, let's get on with creating the project folder. First of all, click on the 3DS Max icon at the top left of the screen to open up file options. Move the mouse down to the manage tab which will turn blue and without any need to click the manage 3ds max assets panel will open automatically. Click on the select project folder which will turn blue and the browse for folder will open. Select Desktop, where we are creating the folder in this example. Desktop should appear in the folder box near the bottom of this window. Next, click Make New Folder at the bottom left of this window. A folder should appear with the words New Folder highlighted in blue. Replace New Folder with Table Objects and click OK. Now minimise the 3DS Max window by clicking on the Minimise button at the top right of this window. Find the new folder Table Objects on the desktop and double click to open. You should take time to look at what the program has created in this folder. To familiarise yourself with 3ds Max file structures. For example, render output will contain your final set of files for when you wish to render images and animations. You should look at these folders, some of which have subfolders. For instance, scene assets contains subfolders for animations, images, audio files and so on. They can also contain any scans, digital photographs etc that you acquired during your research. So having created a project folder this will allow you to share your project or submit it for assessment knowing that all the files you require are contained in this folder. And just to reinforce one last point Professionals use this process of file management to control project workflow and to ensure that project folders contain the latest working or latest completed versions of their work. Looking to the future, this will be a good habit for you to adopt.